Hi Scorpio, this is Dee and I hope you're doing well. Welcome and so welcome back to my channel. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support. It is truly appreciated. Scorpio, this is a general reading which comes to you from the Mystic Mondays Tarot, which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. I will close out your reading with an Oracle card which comes from this Oracle card deck. Uh, there is no specific name, but this is what the box looks like. Scorpio. I'm hearing that you're seeking clarity about something that's happening in your situation. And so the message I'm getting is that meditation will help you to obtain the guidance that you need to make the appropriate decision. So engage in some meditation. All right. Thank you. God Most High, Angel Spirit, guys, beings of love and light, the Holy Spirit. What is the divine guidance and encouragement for Scorpio that's for their well-being in the highest form of love and light? Thank you. Scorpio, you have the Ace of Pentacles. And so you have the opportunity to start something new right? That's going to be very successful for you and is going to produce for you financial abundance. So I feel like if you have been thinking about starting a business, selling some kind of product or offering a service, you're being encouraged to proceed by creating a plan on how, a plan on how you want to execute it and as you get closer to executing it, you reassess your plan and make sure that everything is in alignment, including the resources that you need and proceed with your creative idea, which will again, produce an abundance of financial blessings for you. And it's going to be successful, whatever it is that you choose to do. You also have what you got another ace don't play with me you have you have the ace of wands and so you have a creative idea that you need to execute upon i mean it's just really honestly that simple go for whatever it is that you have on your mind that spark of fire that's in you right now that is calling you to something in particular and make it happen. Make it happen by simply starting with creating a plan to execute on the idea. You're not going to regret it. It's going to produce for you financial abundance and it's going to bring you joy and happiness, most importantly. So be bold and courageous and go for it. Take a leap of faith and execute on your plan. You have two aces here. Like you have two green lights. Go, go. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, go for it. You've got this. And as it relates to your Oracle card, that's for your well-being in the highest form of love and light. Thank you. You also have... I'm going to take these two cards on the top of the deck and the card on the bottom of the deck. And I don't know what it is that you're working towards or having an idea about, but I could tell you one thing is for sure. It is full of passion because I am quite passionate, <laughs> quite passionately in this, in this reading, like, whoa, like the energy is so high. You see what I mean? Like, wow. So there is something that you are quite passionate about, but you've been contemplating moving on it. Just move on it. Even if moving on it is collecting the information you need, doing research, getting resources, making connection with other individuals, et cetera, et cetera. Just execute on a plan. And when you're ready to move forward, go for it. Yes, we're in Mercury retrograde season, so you need to take things slow and steady 
and also cross your T's and dot your I's. Assess, reassess to make sure that you don't miss anything because that's what this energy is requiring at this time. But I am excited and I am full of energy and I feel like this is because you're passionate about something at this time and you just need to make it happen. Starting with planning. Planning is making it happen. You're taking it from your thoughts and you're putting it on paper. That's action. That's moving forward. All right, Scorpio, you have an affirmation. I am powerful and I am love. Indeed, you are. Absolutely. You also have you are energy, you are magic. This reminds me of the magician, which encourages you to let you know you can manifest whatever it is that you desire. It's completely up to you when you decide to take action, but you have what you need as it relates to having your idea, you have uh, having a plan in your mind that you need to put on the paper and then move forward with using your gifts and talents that you have, which is also part of all that you need to execute on this idea. You also have beauty is all around you, Scorpio. Look at nature itself. Beauty is all around, especially in nature and around as it relates to the people who you associate with. They are beautiful people that are in your life. So honor and appreciate that. You also have as your final card, the universe is speaking. Listen with all your heart. I repeat, the universe, God Most High, Source, Creator, however you honor the higher power, is speaking, Scorpio. Listen with all your heart. Scorpio, I'm going to leave it right here. This concludes your message and I hope it has been helpful. Thank you for joining me here. I appreciate you. If you're not already subscribed, I encourage you to subscribe because you did not come to my channel by coincidence because nothing just happens. Also give this message a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. If you are a private person, I respect and honor your privacy. So just drop me some heart emojis down in the comment section. And also don't forget to share this message with someone who you believe would benefit from it. That would be greatly appreciated. All right, Scorpio, take good care of yourself. Peace and blessings to you. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.